Hey guys, this is Epic PC Cases. Um, today we have the aquaponic system that we built. And um, so basically, the way it works is that we have fish down here. We feed the fish, and then the water gets pumped up into these tanks. Um, and that's where all the nutrients from the fish, uh, the, from, from the fish menu, I should say, go and that feeds all the plants here um, and then the water when it fills up to the top will drain down back into the aquarium and basically we just added an extra um, grow bed right here which gets a bit more sun than the other ones so um, but as we can see this one has been growing really well well in the last couple of weeks um, so um, they are supposed to grow faster than uh, just your normal plants that you plant in, in the soil. Um, and uh, they're fully organic and uh, very cheap, cheap to produce. So that's our little project for this week. Alright, so just a little bit of an explanation of what's going on here. You'll see, particularly over here, all we've done is put a garden hose attachment. Uh, through the actual container and done what's called a loop siphon so the water will rise up and the pressure will mount on this part until the amount of water pushing through there up here goes all the way down and that goes all the way down to the fish tank down here creating a siphon and that will empty that all of that completely so what you'll actually notice is that you've got an ebb and flow system this will start coming down you'll start noticing it draining and then once the air starts to fill that tube the siphon will be cut and it'll start to fill all the way up again we've actually done the same thing here we've got the loop coming in that's our loop siphon there and you generally put the top of the loop where you want the water to end up so the water will basically get around there and it'll come all the way straight down. And we've added this um, sump, which, you know, we've protected it so no mozzies will grow there. What basically happens with this is that when that fills up, because both of these fill and drain at different times, water from here will flow into there to equal the pressure. Or if that f takes up too much water, water from there will flow into here and that just it prevents it from emptying the fish tank water completely because you do have two pumps constantly pumping water out of there and then a quick release and if you have the quick release you don't want the tank to overflow this is the oh did I miss it? <laughs> damn it two seconds <laughs> <laughs> the, the air has just cut the siphon off and then now it's, uh, it's going to fill up again until it reaches that loop and it'll go all the way down. What we're actually growing here is, what are we growing here? Tomatoes, cherry tomatoes and beans, so green beans. And uh, we've also got one Lebanese cucumber there. We've got a whole bunch of Lebanese cucumbers here. And uh, this is a cherry tomato tree which is growing, it's going to grow all the way up. Uh, because they are a vine plant and so are the cucumbers so we're gonna have a whole bunch of strings going up here and going across that way so we've got all types of sort of fruit and veggies um, growing all over the place uh, this is our chili tree and uh, as you can see what happens is they start off as these little flowers and uh, a bee will come along and pollinate it and it'll immediately sort of grow out into being a nice chili these are cayenne chilies uh, so they're actually quite hot uh, so these are the type that you sort of chop up into soy sauce and have with your fish balls uh, if you are like that and uh, I've got a strawberry plant growing here and another one growing over here I'm not sure if you can see it and then everything else is just cherry tomatoes and cucumbers so pretty much everything that I would be eating which is good all right, so this is the um, the fish. We've got a whole bunch of neon tetras, about 30, 40 guppies, 
and I'm starting to put a lot of comets in. Uh, comets are these orange ones, the big orange ones, they grow pretty big. And uh, we're just putting those in so that they can provide enough waste. I'll probably put more comets in later. And what basically happens is the fish waste comes unfiltered into the, um, the grow beds. And then the grow beds, they uh, you can't actually see them for obvious reasons. But the grow beds have an enormous amount of uh, worms. We've got red worms, we've got African worms, we've got a whole bunch of night crawlers, uh, different types of worms. They all self reproduce, and uh, you know, we throw all the food scraps we just bury in there, and then the worms will eat it. So, like, you know, whole you know, cucumbers that we didn't eat, or cucumbers that we fed the fish and they didn't you know, finish everything, we just shove them into the grow bed and the worms pretty much just numb it all up and within two days it'd be completely gone and um, the worms they eat the fish waste and uh, they create what's called worm castings and the plants they just love that they just take all the nutrients from that and um, grow a lot faster uh, for those of you who don't really understand why we're doing an ebb and flow system as in a rise and a drop what actually happens is that uh, the rise basically fills the roots full of the nutrients and <clears throat> the drop just lets the plants breathe. So it simulates uh, quick rain. So it rains, soaks the roots, the roots dry out um, and breathe a lot of oxygen in and that allows them to grow. So it's a very aerobic um, exercise, but this just does it many, many, many times. Oh, uh, our loop siphon's just gone off then. So this does it many, many, many times a day. Um, it'll fill up, nutrients drop, the plants will get their air and aerate and create the nutrients that they need. And then it'll fill up and drop and fill up and drop. So that's pretty much what it does.